Hi, my name is Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a book haul today. Um, I have books from the Little Free Library. I have books from Goodwill. I have books from Ollie's, which is a discount store near us. And I have books from the uh, from uh, publishers that I won. And then I also have my Book of the Month unboxing. So I'll start with my Book of the Month unboxing. So I got an extra book this year, this month. But the book that I... Um, the main book I got was People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. And then the next book I got was These Violent Delights. Sorry, by Chloe Gong. And my bookmark says Mark as Unread. And unfortunately, I was supposed to get my tote this month, but they ran out, and so they'll send them to me as soon as they get a new shipment in for being a BFF. So... And then I will do the books I got from the Little Free Library. I got Stainless Steel Hearts by Harry Lee Krauss Jr. And see, it says Re Surgical Resident Matt Stone and two of his friends have uncovered the secret research of hospital chief surgeon Dr. Simmons and a local abortionist. The two doctors are running experiments on aborted fetuses, stealing their hearts to give to infants with congenital heart problems. And then the governor, the pro-choice candidate for governor, Leighton Redmond, knows nothing about the research, but he does know that scandal could destroy his campaign. So he arranges an abortion for the unread staff volunteer who is pregnant with his child. When the woman is involved in a car accident, Matt saves the baby's life. But when Simmons discovers that the child is Redmond's, one they had planned to use in their research, he seeks to end Matt's career. While Matt and his friends gather enough evidence to expose the experiments before Matt gets suspended from practicing medicine, well, what will happen to Redmond's campaign when he learns the baby is alive? A chilling account that must be read because someday this could be reality. And then the next book I got is by Judith Pella and Tracy Peterson, and it's the third in a series, A Promise for Tomorrow. And I think I read the first, first book in this series, if not the second one. Um, um, yeah, I think I did. So... These are, this is a Christian historical fiction. So this is about a rail, the railroad going across the country. So. And then the next two books I got from Goodwill. And the first one is The Three Body Problem by... Six in Lu, I guess, and it's translated by Ken Liu. It was a winner of a Hugo Award, and I picked it up for 99 cents. And then I got The Russian by James Patterson and James O. Bourne. And this is a brand new book. It just came out this year, and I got it for $1.99. And it doesn't even look like it was even read. So. Okay. And then the next two, three books I got from publishers that I won. So, the first one is The Bone Code by Catherine Rikes. I've been watching Bones 
um, been binging bones, so, um, this, this will probably be good, even though I know she, that ha a lot of it happens in Canada, so, and then the next one I got is Avon Green Sleuthing Machine by Dusty Bolin, and it's about this little girl who doesn't have any arms, so she, but she's, uh, Um, third grader Avon Green has been solving mysteries for a really long time. Practically a whole month. <laughs> so, she does all the stuff with her feet. And then the next last book I got from the authors was Dark Rose by Chevy Stevens. Um... Never walk alone on it. For decades, people have been warned about the mysterious disappearance along the Cold Creek Highway. When Haley McBride decides to run away from an unbearable living situation, she thinks that her survival skills will save her, and she counts on people thinking that she, has, she was the victim of the killer. Never hitchhike on it. One year later, Beth Cavalier arrives in Cold Creek to attend a memorial for the victim of the highway, a memorial that includes her sister, Amber, um, who was murdered the previous summer. Summer Beth has quit university, is lying to her parents, and knows she has to track down her sister's killer or die trying, and never drive on it at night. Beth and Haley, two women on a collision course with a killer, two women who both love the free-spirited Amber, Two women up against a town that will be anything to protect its secret, and one dark road where you never see the twists coming. And then the next six books I got I picked up at Ollie's, the discount store near us. And the first three books here are in a are a trilogy, our Christian tr trilogy involving um, the Men Amish Mennonites. The first book is The Thorn by Beverly Lewis. Th two Amish sisters divided by one sister's impulsive marriage to an outsider. Hen longs for the old ways she left behind. Rose is unsure of her own heart, devoted to the bishop's rebellious foster son, yet courted by another. And then the next book is The Judgment. Two Amish sisters reunited by unforeseen circumstances. Hen faces an ultimatum that could leave her heart forever torn. Rose looks ahead to a promising future with handsome Silas, yet can she forget her dear friend Nick and what might have happened? And then the third book is The Mercy. Two Amish sisters yearning for new beginnings. Hen cares for her injured husband, uncertain what the future holds. And Rose welcomes a second chance at love when she least expects it. Is she finally able to give her whole heart? Okay, and those were all three ninety nine a piece. And then I picked up three hardcover books. The first one here is An Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen who are the authors of The Wife Between Us, and this four ninety nine, I think I said. So this is a thriller. And it's about a, a girl signing up for a psychological study conducted by the mysterious Dr. Shields. She thinks all she'll have to do is answer a few questions and collect her money and leave. But as the questions grow more and more intense and invasive and the sessions become outings where Jess is told what to wear and how to act, she begins to feel as though Dr. Shields may know what she's thinking and what she's hiding. And the next book I got was called Cursed, and it's soon to be a Netflix series. And this was only two ninety nine. Born in the dawn to pass in the twilight. 
Whosoever wields the sword of power shall be the one true king. But what if the sword has chosen a queen? This is a pretty heavy book. Oh. Let me see. When was this written? This came out in 2019. So... And then the last book I have here is by Neil Schusterman and Eric Elfman. And it's the first, no, the third in the Accelerati Trilogy. Where book one was Tesla's Attic and book two is Edison's Alley. And this is Hawking's Hallway. And I picked up one and two at the out out at Ollie's two, and this was a dollar ninety nine. So, okay, and that's all I have. So I am not doing so hot on my reading. I mean, I am reading. I'm reading four books now. I have two physical books, one Kindle book, and one audio book. But um, well, I finished my kit my audio book, one audio book last night, and I'm starting a new one tonight. So um. And I'm almost done with one of my physical books. I'm just having a hard time getting through my my Kindle book and my other physical book. So, and I still have one, two. I did finish two two books on my two books that are on my TBR to do. So, but anyway, I hope you're all having a good good. Y'all had a good week and have a great. Um, great weekend, and thanks for stopping by. Bye.